It is Friday morning. We got some crane mats. I didn't show uh, I didn't show me getting loaded. It was a mud pit. I guess it rained last night. Karen's. But uh, there's a truck right there that's got unloaded. This one's about to get unloaded. They're uh, unloading right here and then driving down this road. So it's taking a little bit, but we're in a uh, temple. This is where the uh, those naders hit or tornado. I don't know how many. But yeah, all the way here it was uh, just trees everywhere, snapped in half. I'm sure, the tornado didn't do it itself, but you know, just the high winds. So we're just on one one portion of it. I mean, there's these job sites. There's they're all around here. So depending on where you go, you get to see more or less damage. So let me go ahead and pull up, and uh, we'll get unloaded. This load pays eight hundred dollars. And when you do the mileage, it's uh, seven dollars and fifteen cents a mile. So we got this one, and we're gonna go back and do one more. They want us to work tomorrow too. I'm like, no, I got plans with the family. Memorial weekend.
dropped off at uh, the Q Tizzle. We're gonna get uh, four hundred dollars. Uh, the other day I got fuel. It was three forty nine. I only got two hundred bucks. And today is three thirty nine. So yeah, We're gonna get some fuel. We got about an hour and fifteen minutes to get back to Karen's, get loaded, and uh, make turn around and make our way back so it might be a might be a late day for me because whenever i'm done i gotta drive all the way back home so i might be getting off late but that's all right because i'm gonna have off monday let's check my tires it's a little, a little uneven wear i think it's from when we rotated those were on that side and they're over here now. But let's get this fuel. Ah! <laughs> There's hell everywhere. We can't see. I might die tonight. Look at this shit. Boy, this came out of nowhere. Around 45. Interstate 45, everybody wants to be under the bridge like they're safe. Come on, let's keep on trucking. We ain't doing shit right here. We made it back. Thank God we're alive. <sighs> you know, that pisses me off. I gotta, I gotta tell you guys, do not, under any circumstance, ever, ever, for any reason, stop on the interstate in the lanes of traffic. Never. I mean, it was just rain and maybe up to dime size hell, maybe. And y'all see the whole row, they're just stopped. So we're piling up and uh, you know, it's limited visibility. So you don't know you're coming up to scaredy cats that can't drive, stopping under the bridge. I mean, the bridge was 400 feet up in the air. I mean, really, what is it protecting you? And it was a narrow bridge. Oh my God, these idiots. Look, if that's you, which I know my followers, y'all would never do this. I know. But if you just happen to scroll and see this video, if that's you and you're scared, too scared to drive, don't stop on the interstate. Get off the road, okay? What is okay is to slow down because inclement weather, yes, you lower your speed. Don't keep going that speed limit. You get off the highway, not even on the emergency lane because we've all seen accidents happen on that emergency lane. Somebody's changed his flat tire, gets ran over, a cop pulls somebody over and they get rear-ended. Just, if you're scared and you can't handle it emotionally, 
drive off, exit, get in the parking lot, go cry, call your mommy and your daddy and tell them how scared you are. But don't play with people's lives like that. Now, with all those cars there, there's children in these cars, there's young teenage new drivers. Uh, I mean, you got to lead by example. Don't do that. I mean, people aren't perfect drivers. And so if you just slam on your brakes on an interstate, and you know half, not even half, I, I would say 90% of these people, they don't pay attention to the road. They're on their phone. So if they don't see you stop, boom, they're going to rear end you or rear end somebody else and kill them. We've all seen those accidents where an 18-wheeler just plows in all these cars that are stopped, right? Is it the 18-wheeler's fault? It's your fault for stopping. You're the idiot. Yes, we are considered professional drivers and we should be able to predict and evade a lot of these things. I'm not saying everybody's perfect. But for you to stop in the interstate because you don't want to get a couple dents on your car, even if they would, I mean, these pea size and maybe down size they probably wouldn't even leave a mark on your car. But if they did, I mean, it, are people's lives worth that? I mean, there's babies in all these cars that were around us and behind me. It started to pile up because you didn't want to get hail damage. Fuck your car. You can replace your car. You can get your car fixed. You can't replace a life. Everyone in those vehicles, somebody is waiting for them. Somewhere. Somebody's waiting for them. Oh my God. Are you crybabies out there? I mean, if you can't, it, look. Also, if you're scared to drive and you're in the middle lane and you're going super fucking slow and people are flying by you on the right, flying by you on the left, and you're just like, ah, I'm scared to drive. And everybody just fly, get off. Go to a parking lot and go cry and call your mommy and your daddy and tell them how scared you are. Okay, maybe they'll make you feel better. But don't play with people's lives like that. That is ridiculous. Oh my God. Oh man, I, I think people that do stuff like that, they should get charged with attempted vehicular manslaughter. Because that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to kill everybody. Oh man, I'd give everybody a death penalty for that. I mean, you're trying to, you're going to cause a death for being a little scared. I'm scared. I'm scared to drive. I don't want to, I don't want to dent my car, fool. Fuck, don't drive it. Look at the weather every day. If there's a chance of rain, just don't, don't go anywhere. Stay home. Call in sick. I'm like, hey, it might rain. I'm scared. I can't come to work. Oh, man. Pisses me off. Uh, sorry for the rant, but yeah, I hate it when people stop on the road and, uh, you know, you're putting multiple lives at danger, at risk of, you know, just, we all have heard stories of drunk drivers killing a whole family because they're riding on the wrong side of the highway. I mean, it's ignorance. If you're going to be ignorant on the road, don't go on the road. I mean, they're just innocent people. Innocent people. So, you know, oh, sorry about the rant, but, you know, sometimes it gets a little built up. I'm, I'm on the road all day. I see ignorance all day, every day. And uh, I should have, I mean, I wish I was kind of filming it beforehand. Because I had to slam on my brakes and everybody knows on here, I don't like driving this skateboard in the rain. Because uh, it's a 94, there's no analog brakes. And I was like, ah, shit, oh, shit. I was going like this, my trailer, my truck, because I'm empty. Oh, damn. And then come to find out, it's there was no accidents ahead of that. It's not like, oh my God, there was an accident. You know, everybody's got to stop. No, they were just afraid of the rain and a little bit of hell. I hope, I hope they didn't cause any accidents behind me and kill somebody or uh, injure somebody for their ignorance. But yeah, yeah, there was no accidents up there. They just fucking stopped. Oh, shit, damn pisses me off. Anyways, so it's the end of the week, guys. Ooh, 
wait. Let's go over the recap. Let's go over the recap. You know, I feel like a, a broken record, dude. I keep saying that it was a good week. Could have been better, you know. Everything always can be better, right? We can be better. Um, but yeah. So, uh, Monday, I uh, did what? I did two loads. And I got 1,050 for that. Oh, oh! Did y'all see that flash? That was Thunderbolt right there. Man, right in front of my eyes. Man, what are them, wonder what are them uh, scaredy cats are doing right now? They can't even drive. Ugh, go call your mommy. Okay, so Tuesday. Oh man, Tuesday was a good day. So I did two concrete loads and I squeezed in a uh, rebar load in between. And oh man, those three loads paid me eighteen fifty for one day. Oh man, if every day was like that, oh wait. Uh, Wednesday. I don't know. I think it might have been a uh, chance of rain. I think there was a chance of rain Tuesday night. So anyways, a little slow Wednesday. I did one load, 650. Same thing for Thursday. Yesterday, I did one load, 500. And today, oh man, I don't film a lot. Y'all know I don't film a lot when I do them crane mats because it's a lot of driving. And then when you get out, it's hurry, 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 hurry. You gotta have your hard hat on. Nine times out of 10, I'm in the middle of the road. You know, cars are flying by me. Um, so it's hard to, to film, but so uh, today we're going from Cairns to Temple, which is about an hour and 45 minutes one way. And uh, those loads, I, I said it earlier, but they paid 800 bucks. And when you do the math, the mileage, that's it was seven dollars and I think 14 cents a mile because they're paying you to do the round trip. You know, they needed a whole bunch of loads for all that, uh, all those down power lines. So today was sixteen hundred dollars. Okay, all in all, I made five thousand six hundred and fifty dollars this week locally, and I went home and saw my babies every day. It's nothing my bed. Uh, I spent one thousand dollars in fuel. I probably didn't need to, you know, spend that much. I got three quarts of a tank for next week, so. Really, a thousand dollars wasn't necessary, but I mean, if I'm gonna get fuel, I'm gonna get fuel, and it's gonna it works itself out, you know. We we'll use it next week. So what I get to keep and bring home, and pay all my bills with, and maintain my truck with, four thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh wait. Okay, so um, one other income. I said it on uh, you know a hundred thousand videos ago. I was gonna let you guys know what I get from making these little things, you know? I don't know if I'm not supposed to say, I haven't seen any rules, but uh, uh, they, you get paid once a month. And I made $150, guys. Oh, wait, I'm gonna be rich. I'm about to retire. <laughs> I'm gonna just live off my YouTube money. I mean, uh, my other money, whatever that is. Because I'm not allowed to say it. So yeah, uh, but hey, I'm under 50 bucks, you know, that's good for me. I mean, I'm not doing anything extra. I'm just taking the time to show you guys what I do. I hope you guys can hear me. This it's fat rain right now. Big old fat rain. I got all juicy opening the gate. I'll take my head off. You can see. I got wet head. Uh, I say, yeah, so I'm thankful. I'm thankful. The only reason I'm getting that is because of you guys. You guys are watching these videos. You're uh, commenting. You're uh, subscribing. So uh, thank you guys so much. I mean, I never thought I would have ever reached that. You know, when you when you first started, it moved so slow, and you're like, "Why am I even doing this? People aren't gonna like it." Which I mean, I'm sure a lot of people don't like it, but some of you guys do. Or uh, people. When I say guys, I mean everybody. That's how we say in Texas. All you guys, all y'all, all y'all, thank all y'all uh, for uh, watching in the video. Oh man, them thunderbolts are everywhere. Oh, we, I like it though. You know, I'm not afraid of rain. <laughs> Makes me think about those uh, little memes or whatever they call. Have you ever seen one of uh, what Texans be like when there's a tornado where this, uh, it was uh, a black lady with glasses outside the house. Like, like looking for it 
that's us. That's all of us out here in Texas. We don't go hide, we go outside. You know, we're like, I want to see it. But uh, yeah, so I'm not scared of the storms. Uh, what else? Yeah, so it's Memorial Weekend. Uh, I'm 99% sure I'm not gonna work Monday because uh, everywhere is closed. I mean, when you look for loads, if you can get something today, it's like deliver Tuesday. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a three-day weekend. I got some uh, fun time playing with the family. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, enjoy the lake. I don't know. I didn't even know it was supposed to rain today. I've been checking the weather all week and uh, it's supposed to be good, but I don't know, I'll have to check the weather again. So, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching all these videos or even, you know, watching some of it. I mean, every minute that you watch or second you watch helps me and uh, I do appreciate it. So uh, if you're first time watching this, please like, subscribe, comment, do it all. Uh, I just do this every day. I'm a local driver on my own truck and trailer and it's a one man show. I'm showing you the real numbers. You know, I'm not doing this fake stuff, making you think you're gonna get rich. You won't get rich. But you can make okay money. I wouldn't start it brand new right now because it's a little harder when you're brand new. Um, but, you know, just to be real with everybody so you, you know what real numbers are locally. Um, I wish everybody would kind of do that, you know? I mean, with everything. Man, that was bright. Uh, I mean, with any kind of profession. I mean, because there's a lot of, uh, I'd say liars, but they kind of fib or, you know, make it sound better than it is. I mean, no matter what it is, a truck driver, a mechanic, a doctor, a, a scientist, what are you really making? You know? Tell us really what's going on. What do you have to spend to make that money? So that's what I try and do. I just try and be open, real, raw, uncut. I'm not trying to make those fancy little videos where, oh, look at my uh, intro, here's my outro, here's my song, here's my merch, who wants some merch? I don't know, maybe one day it'd be kind of cool to have merch if people liked it, but uh, I'm not trying to be fancy with these videos is what I'm saying. Uh, I just, I want to be real and uh, informative. I want to show you what I do and what I get paid to do that kind of stuff. So. Oh, well, I'm rambling on. Let me uh, hop in the car, oh, boo boo, and drive home. Hopefully, we won't get any accidents for all them crybabies that are on the road. But thanks. Enjoy your weekend.